You're listening to the 420 Radio Show on FamousHipHopRadio.com with the Perception Queen and G Money. Oh shit, what time? It was once said by a man who couldn't quit. Dope man, please, can I have another hit? The dope man said, Cluck, I don't give a shit if your girl kneel down and suck my dick. Gave the nigga head in, homie tried to choke her. But he didn't care, she ain't nothing but a smoker. That's the way it go, that's the name of the game. Young niggas getting over by slanging cane. Legs around my wrist and 18K heavy. Bitches clocking on my dick 24 7. Plus, I'm making money, keep the bass heads waiting. Roll a 6 4 with the all go dating. Living in the wood, California CA. This will be up your ass if I don't get paid. Niggas begging for a credit, I'm knocking out teeth. Clocking much dollars on the first of 15. Big wad of money, nothing less than a 20. Yo, you want a whole chicken? Mac 10's got plenty. To be a dope man, boy, you must qualify. Don't get high off your own supply. From a key to a T, it's all about money. 10 piece for a 10 base pipe, come free. And people out there not hip to the fact if you see somebody getting money for crack, either. Dope man, dope man, front me a sack. Dope man, dope man, I'll get you back. Dope man, dope man, trying to stack me a grip. Dope man, dope man, man, fuck that shit. You need a nigga with money so you get a dope man. Juice that fool for as much as you can. Like his car, and he get with her. Got a black guy, cause the dope man hit her. Let that slide, and you pay it no mind. Find that he's slapping you all the time. But that's okay, cause he's so rich, and you ain't nothing but the dope man's bitch. Do what he say, and you keep your mouth shut. Talking that drag might get you fucked up. You sit and cry if the dope man strike you. He don't give a fuck, he got two jets like you. There's another girl in the dope man's life. Not quite a bitch, but far from a wife. She call her Strawberry, and everybody knows Strawberry. Strawberry is the neighborhood hoe. Do anything for a hit or two. Get a bitch a rock, she fuck the whole damn crew. It might be your wife, and it might make you sick. Come home and see a mouth on a dope man's dick. Strawberry just looking, you'll see her. But don't fuck around, she'll give you gonorrhea. And people out there not hip to the fact of Strawberry is a girl selling pussy for crack to the. Dope man, dope man. Mama ounce to a key. Dope man, dope man. Trying to get this cheese, man. Dope man, dope man. Cluckers ride my dick. Dope man, dope man. Man, fuck that shit. If you smoke cane, you a stupid motherfucker. Known around the hood as a schoolyard clucker. Doing that crack with all the money you got. On your hands and knees, searching for a piece of rock. Feeding for a hit, and you're looking for more. Gun stole an alpine out of wavy six four. Smoking like a train, and I wouldn't wanna be you. Done took from the homies, better run when I see you. Balling every day, doing more drug deals. Roll around town on the 20 inch wheels. And people out there not hip to the fact. If you see Mac 10, you can ask me for crack. I'm the dope man, dope man. Yeah, that's me. Dope man, dope from an ounce to a key. As I can, yo, fuck that shit. Who am I? The dope man. Back 10 nigga, you must be slick. You put the quick on the team, now we stand for chips. Good looking now, for showing love. Now I got bitches on my dick, cause I'm flossing dubs. Welcome back to Famous Hip Hop Radio for the 420 show. This is the Perception Queen. <clears throat> We're back with some products to review from Sloss and Hemp. Um, and Antonio Garcia actually came to see me this weekend. Um, I met a few people, which I'm happy to talk about. Um, there's some drinks that you guys need to know about as well. Um, they're called Terp Coolers. They're brand new drinks coming out to the market right now. Um, so definitely look out for those. Um, the one that they gave me was, I actually have the bottle here. I drank it all, of course, but I still have the bottle. <laughs> so you know what to look out for. Stra strawberry Pineapple OJ. But they have 250 milligrams of cannabis in there. So 
Um, the guy that's behind it is really driven, passionate, a go-getter, just ready to sell him to the market here. He's really um, excited. So definitely look out for those. Also look out for Sloss and Hemp, which supplies all the distillate that actually goes into these drinks. Um, they're based out of Colorado. Um, so this is actually a refined, as I was telling people on the live before, this is a refined um, CBD. And refined CBD is actually distillate form. Um, so it's the highest form of distillate that you can get of CBD, which is awesome. Like, if you could see it, the color on here is amazing. It's this lime green color, um, but the taste is absolutely amazing. It's super, super clear. Um, when I first first tasted it, um, I felt the effects try to wear really, really clear, focused. Um, it was just amazing. Um, and not only that, sometimes with some CBD, I don't know if you guys have ever tried it before, but sometimes at the end of it, you get a little loopy and like you like it feels a little different, a little weird. And this one, you don't get that effect at all. It's very clean. You don't get any type of weird feelings afterwards, kind of when you're coming down from it. Um, it's very, very clean. Um, so any type of isolate, um, usually like this, tastes a little different. It's a little bit harsh of a feeling, of a taste. You know what I mean? This one doesn't have any terps in it, so it's raw. So um, this one's going to be the raw form. It's going to be a little bit different and harsher to hit rather than hitting something like this, which is very clean um, and kind of euphoric as well. So it helps your um, serotonin levels rise. And when that happens, um, you are actually getting a euphoric effect as well. Serotonin actually makes you feel happy, euphoric, uplifted. And this distillate definitely does that for you. Definitely nothing like anything on the market right now. Yes. Come and talk with us, Miss Yaya. Hello. Hello. How are you today? What events did you want to talk about today? Uh, well, do you have an impact event coming up? Is it impact? Well, impact is every second Friday of the month, every month at Green Jeans, usually at 630. Mm -hmm. And we usually go for about an hour, an hour and a half because we mingle at the end. <clears throat> Green Jeans is right off of Carlisle and the freeway. And so you can catch us there every second Friday of the month. We actually might be moving it to Vibrance. We're not too, too sure yet. Um, the normal meeting will be at Vibrance. I'm not too sure exactly when that is. So when we come back from break, I'll actually let you guys know when that will be. Um, so, Miss Yaya, what events did you want to talk about? <coughs> well, I wanted to talk about that event. <laughs> oh, that one? Okay. Because I was going to be able to go, and I had never been. And I wanted to get more active. Yes. And it was closer to my home. You're more active than a lot of us, Miss <laughs> Yaya. Well, more active. I know, but <laughs> I'm trying great. to do all kinds of things. I mostly have been out in the field meeting people. And, of course, you go I... go to a lot of the events, too. So. I do. I used to go to many more, but I'm kind of slowing down. But I go <laughs> That's to what we're the, here for. <laughs> I go to the private businesses, and I kind of talk to the business owners yeah. to get their take on CBD. And, actually, I go to see if they're <laughs> worthy yeah. Well, I love CBD, and I, we all want the right education. You don't want to get information that's wrong. Right. So I go in, and I'm like a mystery shopper. Yes. <laughs> okay? And so I mystery shop. Yes. And then I compare. Mm -hmm. And as I told you earlier before we went on air, some of the prices are so high. Mm -hmm. They're so very high, and I think we should all rally together, Congress, and get the prices lowered for CBD <laughs> so that all of the ill people mm -hmm. can afford it. Mm -hmm. And I'm hoping that prime time will call me back. It's production. It really is. It because is. when you look at it on a big scale and people are needing the CBD and they can't get it. People literally need a thousand they kilos do. and they can't get it. And when they but. can get it, it is a little bit more expensive and then people have to charge on top of that. So I mm -hmm. definitely get what you're saying but there. There is a thing called there is Moore's a shortage. Law. Everybody you know, in the tech world knows about Moore's Law, right? Mm -hmm. More is less. Mm -hmm. Come on, Congress. Let's grow hemp. Let's legalize hemp, and then everybody can have it because there'll be more 
-hmm. more for everybody, and the price won't be so high. Mm -hmm. Now, this is one reason I'm targeting the senior market, mm -hmm. because I'm hoping that some the of baby the boomers. Um, newsletters can get out there and reach seniors mm -hmm. and really help them. Yeah. And you can have such a better life. Yes. You know, when those aches and pains are gone, and you can hike and go through the day and not feel it, I'm telling you, life is good. Yeah, it's like some people come into my store and they want it so bad, but there's this so high stigmatism there is. that they go in there three or four times questioning themselves yes. and questioning yeah. me and mm -hmm. you know my what am I doing about it you know but they you know they want it so bad they that's do. why they're in there but, but they can't make a decision they because they've been so brainwashed, brainwashed in the past that this is so bad that they can't tell the difference between cannabis and hemp that's true and you know I educate every day about that exactly and it's so sad and, and they're very suffering sad. they're suffering out is, there it is but they'll get it they'll come around it'll probably take 10 times but they will because not only are they so brainwashed but they have to get over that fear mm -hmm. and that fear in some people is really hard to get over but if they just breathe and if they research and read Yes. And I tell them, please Use read. Google. Read. Read, read, read. Use your resources. Library. <laughs> and go to CBD support groups. Yes. Which I would love to see in the scene. Or in New Mexico Impact or normal groups where we Anywhere. give education absolutely for free and we're willing to give it. So. so the first step, that's why we're called the Green Jackets. Green Put your jackets. green jacket on and step and on goo -goo. up. And goo goo. And, and, you know, try CBD. And I'm on my soapbox constantly. Right, aren't I we? I do not know how to come off of it mm -mm. because... It has changed my life in many people I think people I live me. there. We were just talking about it earlier, me and Tiffany mm -hmm. from Vibrance, and we were talking about, you know, we've been advocates and sh activists for it since we were young. I was over there telling my mom that I could heal cannabis with cannabis since I was young, mm -hmm. telling her at 15 years old, and she was laughing at me. But That's I'm like, right. I'm being serious, you know? I had a T-shirt <laughs> in 1981. I lived with a very special cannabis grower, mm -hmm. and he taught me a lot about it. But I still didn't know what <laughs> CBD was, yeah. but I kind of had a feeling. And this was the CBD with the THC. Yeah. So I got me a black t-shirt, mm -hmm. and I took it to a printer, mm -hmm. and I had them write on it, got your CBD. Mm -hmm. And that was in 1981, and here I am in 2018, mm -hmm. still. But I still didn't know what it was back in those years that gone by. Right. <laughs> I bet. Then I learned about CBN, mm -hmm. which is another part of the medical marijuana plant. That yeah. You can sleep. It's another cannabidol. Mm -hmm. Cannabinoid. Those words are very hard to pronounce. Cannabinoid. Lots of practice. It does. <laughs> and I was very intimidated at first when I do conventions. Yeah. And I couldn't say those words, and I'd be talking to hundreds of people. And so we'd all have fun trying to pronounce them together. Right. But not only is there CBD, THC, but the CBN can really help you with sleep. Mm -hmm. So that's another avenue for people to look into with the medical marijuana, mm -hmm. of course. To know what's in your medicine. To know. And mm -hmm. you can get different effects with different ways that you cure it. Yeah, different terpene, terpenes mm -hmm. give you different effects. Yeah. Even the different smells and aromas from the, from the cannabis and from the hemp give you different effects. Well, so that's what you want to look out for. You know, this THCs, THCVs, um, THC, that regular THC, THC, THC A, yeah. CBDA. THC, you could research THC, all of these. CBGA, THC. Well, one There's of them. There's so many. <laughs> because I used, I had Crohn's, mm -hmm. and I went to Colorado. It was before I got my card here. Mm -hmm. And I got some medicine in Colorado. I was in Pagosa Springs. And it was called a reserve. And I got it. And I had fear. I've been smoking for a while <laughs> and vaping just a scotchy bit. And I had fear. I held it for two days. I did. I had fear that it was going to be so good I wouldn't know what to do. So I finally vaped it. And there was no fear. It was just, I don't know what that was. But it took away all of the intestinal 
fortitude that goes with Crohn's. It's the inflammation. That's right. what it was. And it was helping you with inflammation. Then now the CBD mm -hmm. from the industrial hemp works in the same way. Yes. So when you do those two together, and you get the full spectrum of mm -hmm. both plants, yes. mm -hmm. that's when you get what's called the phenomenon. Mm -hmm. because that's when everything starts It's whole working. plant healing, too. It's a phenomenon, yes. and that's the real word. It's a yeah. real medical word. Yeah. It means when things start working so well. Synergistically together. That you experience, and then you've got the homostasis. Homostasis. homostasis mm -hmm. Which, um, gosh, you get all those together, and you're <laughs> rolling some good dice there with health. Oh, yeah. So, You're being proactive about your health at that point. So that's why you want to do it every day. So I think every person should have one of those posters in their room. <laughs> right. Read about what is it? Everybody raw, needs one. <laughs> heated. And what's the third one? Raw, heated, down at the bottom of that poster. Where uh, it the converts. juicing, act, the yeah, active cannabis? Yes. That's um, raw, heating. And heat, raw is the first, heating, maybe we'll juicing. We'll look for it. I have it on no, my wall. No, because juicing is raw, too, so... Well, but we'll, we'll check on the next episode. That, you can <laughs> and man, you will have a life. Right. Get on that green jacket wagon with the famous hip hop radio show. That's right. <laughs> we'll be right back with the famous hip hop radio. And we're going to be playing some Dr. Dre with Kush. But you know, it's also true. Oh, oh I like your little background. Hey. I can't figure my phone out. Did you lose your battery, Frank? Where is it? No, it's, I left it in the car. Oh, okay. <laughs> you want to dab this CBD? Oh, I love one. I have to call that guy back. He said, turn the little screw to the plus. So, does that mean I have to reset all those pins before I sell them? I guess so. Oh, you've got one too. <laughs> As for the days, we're all carrying our big tools. That's a lot of paraphernalia. I know, that's why, you know, it's hard, all that paraphernalia. Your money. So that one is a bigger, I have this, I'm, my whistle's on my back, but I I do like this. Yeah, I, I have to. so low, but my kids here, wherever yeah. I'm really? at, yeah. I could awesome. be in the supermarket, I mean, I just, they'd be like, <laughs> that's <laughs> tall enough. That's great. <laughs> but I can only do it loud sometimes. Oh. <laughs> this phone's a piece of shit. I hear, I hate that piece of shit phone Hello? syndrome. <laughs> I went through it. Hello? Okay. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Now, who is uh, this? Which, who's this? Now, what is this? Wait a minute. Is this hold a Colorado? Hold on, hold on doctor. Yeah. Watch, let me see. Sloth and him. Okay, now, now my phone will go back on the. I will throw this phone like the in like five sloth? minutes. Sloth and hemp, wow. Okay, what's the okay, what's the idea? Or maybe they're local. I might have to correct that in our group. Don't fight the phone. Don't you? You want your chair back? Okay. Okay, hold on for a second. What up, what up? Okay, hello? Hi. Okay, you there? Okay, wait a second. Hold it. Okay. Okay. Okay, I think we're good. <laughs> okay. Woo!
Thanks for tuning back in to the 420 Radio Show on Famous Hip Hop Radio. Um, we have a couple of guests on the line right now, and I would like for them to go ahead and introduce themselves. Hi, I'm Catherine Bouvier. Hi, I'm uh, Dr. Craig Levens uh, from Flower Power Coastal. Okay, cool. Cool, cool, cool. So um, why don't you kind of let the people that's listening hear about what you have. Sure. So we're a, uh, a cannabis-based coffee company, but we're hemp-derived. Uh, we're basically trying to get uh, cannabidiol, uh, CBD, into everyone's system in a nice and easy manner. Uh, and the easiest way we thought it was introducing it to a coffee, which more than 85% of the public drinks, and um, just a great way for you to get CBD into your body. Um, and decrease the uh, anxiety into this coffee while maintaining the uh, the nice the nice buzz and uh, focus that coffee brings. Um, that's basically us in a nutshell. We also have some uh, we work uh, with um, world renowned chefs. Uh, we're um, we, do, we, do, we have an edible line that we've designed uh, to also increase the um, population's consumption of cannabis, um, CBD specifically. Um, that's basically us in a nutshell. And, uh, Kathy, you know? Well, I mean, you know, we, we're just, like, you know, starting out. We've been around for, like, a year or so. And, you know, we're, we've got people all over, all over the country, people in Europe. So, you know, we're, we're really grateful for this opportunity of you guys, you know, putting the show together and having us on. What? Yeah, very, very thankful and a great way for the for your also population to really, you know, understand what's going on and, and other ways for them to realize benefits that, that are out there for their health that they, they might not be aware of. Yeah, because there's a lot of people that's not aware. Pardon me? I said there's a lot of people that's not aware. Well, yeah, I think I think a lot of uh, issues we have now is like the stigma that's associated with cannabis. You know, I mean, we need to have people, like especially in the medium that you're providing, is to have the opportunity to come out and talk about our product and, you know, relieve some of that stigma. Yeah, totally, totally. And that's a beautiful it's thing. Like, yeah, it really is. It's like a re-education of the public. You know, the public still has this whole marijuana madness in their brain from when we drove through it, watching it in schools or seeing the, the publications. And we don't really, you know, the government never really told us that, you know, cannabis and, and hemp is, is really good for us. And we have this whole unique, uh, called this endocannabinoid system running throughout our body that's been, you know, untapped for the last 80 years since they, they, they banned the consumption and use of cannabis. So right. it, 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 it's all about, you know, re-educating the public. You tell people uh, about CBD, and, you know, it, they're like, oh, will that get me high? And you're like, no. And they don't understand what that is almost. And so it's really education. Because, you know, everyone knows what THC is. But CBD is, is, is a unique chemical in itself, and, and, it, and it should be used by everyone. You know, there are multiple benefits of it. Um, you know, the research can't be done in this country for it, so nothing can really be stated. But there's a lot of uh, anecdotal evidence from, from people all over the country and all over the world that touting the benefits of it. So, I mean, it's, it's a wonderful, I mean, it's a wonderful plant. Um, and hopefully, you know, we'll be able to use more of it and more of it as the years go on. Right. Well, I mean, they do, like, there has been research started for CBD, but it's private. The government will not fund it. So in Philadelphia, they just had a $3 million grant for Jefferson Hospital to specifically study the health benefits of CBD. So it's pretty interesting. You know, I mean, the science is there. Yeah, the so stigmatisms there. are there the as well. So the stigmatisms the are huge. To the plant. Usually most people think, you know, um, you, it's going to hurt them rather than help them. So that's the biggest stigmatism that we, I think, as a society has to overcome. Um, so I'm glad that you're right along with us. I mean, what um, big stigmatism would you say that you guys deal with? What stigmas do we deal with? 
Yeah, which which is the biggest for you? Which is the biggest oh, stigmatism yeah. that you guys I mean, deal with or what you myself. think is? So every day, and I mean, I, I try to just, it's basically re-educating, just educating the people that they're, they're taking all these other herbal supplements, all these other plant-based um, vitamins and, and, and supplements, not realizing the benefits that, that, that uh, the cannabis plant has. Um, and, you know, the wonderful amount of antioxidants the omega-3, 6, and 9 that come from this plant, um, the neuroprotective properties, just the, the anti-inflammatory properties. There are so many benefits that people just aren't aware of. Right. And then when you know, and the, you, you know, it's just the general public, people that, that don't, you know, use um, cannabis uh, with, with THC, and it can use hemp and not get those psychoactive effects that they might be afraid of or that, 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 that they, they, they don't want to experience because they have to have focus in their lives and they have, you know, very intense, um, challenging jobs where they can't be um, under any type of influence. So that's the biggest thing where people just don't know. So, you know, you, you speak to someone who's been consuming cannabis for the last 40 years and you bring up CBD and, and they don't know what it is. Yeah, they think so that I, they're going to yeah. get high. Yeah, so they definitely I, need I, to I be, be educated for sure. I think for me, um, definitely when I came on board, uh, my husband first got involved, and it took me a while to get, you know, excited about the company, and then when I did, I was, like, all in. Mm -hmm. But I think for me, I've experienced some social stigma about getting involved with CBD because of that stereotype yes. of, you know, the association with cannabis and marijuana, especially, you know, it's like people pull back. They're like, what are you doing? You know what I mean? Yeah. And so I think there's, like, this need, a call to recognize that, you know what, cannabis is going mainstream. It's not, Whether you know, you like it's not it or something not, that we you better be prepared for it. <laughs> and the more people we get involved from all, you know, all aspects of society, we can make that cultural shift, make it more, you know, like community friendly. You know what I mean? Right. Yes, totally. Totally. I'm, I give out poison all day long. I give something <laughs> exactly. in micrograms. If I give you something in a milligram, I could kill you with this product. Yet, the cannabis plant itself can be, you know, you can't consume enough of it. You know, you might fall asleep, but it's not going to happen. Right? For a good day or so. Press your breathing. These are things it won't do. You know, especially now with this large opiate epidemic that's going ravaging our country. When, you know, studies have been out there that, that saying consuming cannabis or I I introducing, you know, a cannabis product to these opioid um, patients can reduce the amount of, of opioids they need to consume and wean them off of this product. That's right. It's such a strain in our society. I was it's actually a, learning it, that. It, it's a demographic of people 25 to 40. It's taking our, the, the, the lifeblood out of our country. It's, it's, it's a horrible scenario we're going through right now. If we can, you know, realize that, that marijuana or cannabis is not the entrance drug, it might be the exit drug, mm -hmm. and, um, we really, really can help our population. <clears throat> Not exactly. only that, I was actually learning at our seminar last weekend. Um, we had a cannabis seminar here in New Mexico, and they were saying, you know, people on opioids can reduce the amount that they're taking as well because um, when you mix cannabis and opioids together, it reduces the amount that you have to take because it actually increases the effect of the opioid. So yeah, having a, people to exactly take a true. lot less as well. And so that is something I have definitely noticed. It's like, I would never come out and say it cures it, but it right. has made it so that I am less reliant on, well, the, the medicine that I take is tramadol. And so since I've been doing uh, CBD regularly, it, it's not gone away, but my reliance on tramadol has gone down. That's right. So and, see, and that's, that's helped you. Thing. That's great. Yeah, really oh. we've, yes. we've even come up with, with conversions of how much THC is needed to supplement the amount of uh, the, the, the morphine quantity. I mean, it's the, the studies are out there. The, the work is out there. People just need to, to open their eyes and, and close their ears to what the government's saying and, and learn for themselves. So Yeah, it's, cannabis it's, actually the... Information is out there. Concentration has been proven to be 10 times stronger than morphine. So, I mean, when you're looking for pain management, you want to look at a concentration. You want to look at dabbing because that's where real pain management comes from. I mean, 10 times stronger than morphine, and it's coming from a plant. Right. So. 
You know, we we've, yeah. we've we've modified the opi- the uh, the poppy plant to where it's you know a thousand times stronger than it actually was. You know, you have these, these uh, fentanyl oxy fentanyls now that are coming out that you, know, that you hear like these stories that someone Killing just touched people. it and they overdosed. So I mean, there's it's 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 pretty it's 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 pretty crazy what's going on. If we can supplement it with the plant, um, you know, and, and take that, that reliance off this pill, it's just. Yes. It's a no-brainer. We all see it, and, mm-hmm. you know, the government doesn't want to, I think, it's too much of it, doesn't it? They're going to. Right. Um, huh. I was actually talking to somebody else at the seminar, a CBD person, and they were actually looking into it, and she's from a nurse perspective in a different side as well. Um, she was saying that she just thinks the government's just waiting, that they're just waiting, trying to see what everybody's doing right, trying to see what everybody's doing wrong. They're preparing for wreck because guess what? It grew way faster than anybody had thought it was going to grow because the plant is also spirit. So it has a mission here. So they're just waiting because I think they're going to join in as well too. I mean, it's it's at this point, it's a no-brainer, you know? So yeah. I think the it's just a matter of time. I'm really, really, really nervous about though is, is this is great about about us realizing this plant is, is, is a benefit for us. But then if the government reschedules it and makes it a C2, that takes it out of the population's hands and puts it into big yeah. farmers' hands. That's right. So it's a, we, we have to have a, a, a deschedulization, not a reschedulization. Right. Right. That's the most important thing. Because if we reschedule it, none of us will be able to really use it without going to the pharmacy and getting it from the pharmacist. Oh, so, I was just at a conference at Yale. Um, on the cannabis, um, you know, regarding cannabis, and they said the exact same thing, that if they get that uh, re- rescheduling, that, I mean, yes. big farmers is going to take over everything. Yeah, we got to make sure the way we approach it, because it could be, it's a superfood. I mean, it's a multivitamin. we got to be very careful on how we approach it when it does become wreck, but it is, is it's going there. <laughs> You know, it's inevitable, yeah. but we, we do got to be you, really you conscious. Can't, you can't stop the, the ball. It's already started rolling. Mm-mm. Oh, yeah, totally. It's been a long time coming, though. <clears throat> exactly. Thanks. Mm-hmm. It's been a long time coming because I know when I was a kid growing up, you know, they used to call it grass back then. You know, my mom and dad smoked grass. <laughs> you know? <laughs> That's what they called it. Puffing some grass. You know? Yeah. And then they had all the little kids. We was outside. We would go dig up some grass and try to roll it up ourselves. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and then they used to come home and be like, "What are you guys doing? Smoking some grass like y'all?" No, 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 no. Exactly. But you know, That's hopefully, so hopefully now though, um, we could really keep the show going, keep getting more people involved all over the globe, and really make it one global movement. You know, green jackets, um, y'all. Yeah. The world Hashtag general. green jackets. We, we, you know, with the advent of of um, the internet and everyone has a smartphone now, everyone's interconnected to every corner of the world. And if this is a, a something that can help us and bring us health and and help us get, uh, you know, really decrease some of these disease phases we have or, or the pain that we're in in a, in a somewhat natural way. I mean, for us to be deprived of that, it, that's just it's wrong. You know, it's, it's, right. it's, it's wrong for, for society as a whole. Yes. Yeah, Absolutely. it is. It is, but you know. It's our y- personal choices. Well, so, well yeah, our personal you know, choices. It, it's it's our per- it shouldn't affect any type of laws, but that's just my. Well, yeah, it shouldn't affect any laws, but the people that make the laws, <laughs> they know that it's so many people that's sleeping because they're just so caught up in life itself. You know what I mean? To where they don't but have. But that's yeah. why the cannabis plant is there. We got to wake people up. That's our message. You know, yeah, we wait, can't be worried up. about them, money. No. <laughs> well, we're here to spread a different message. <laughs> well, no, this is the thing. I mean, the message that we're spreading is get educated. Yes. Yeah. Exactly. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> that's the message. <laughs> you know, yes. don't let don't let the government tell don't, you that this ain't right or sleepy. that ain't right. Don't, don't be sheepy. I mean, yeah. listen to them when it comes get to out laws. There. You know, no, I'm not saying protest either. I'm saying get out there, get into the laws, get into your community, and really get back, and learn what's going on. Just took CBD off the banned substance list, so you can actually have. You can be an Olympic athlete and have 
cannabidiol in your system now. And they realize, yes. you know, that it's not an American, uh, not an American organism. It's a, it's a European Union. They realize the benefits of it. You know, and right. there, there's no, there, there's, there's, there's not enough. There's not an advantage in some of it, but you'll be able to re- recuperate uh, from your workouts and from your exercising and from your tasks at a much easier and rapid rate than you could normally. So, I mean, they, it's, it's known out there. Mm. I mean, even the NFL is getting on board with CBD. Mm-hmm. Yeah. They're uh, even they're going about the for it. They are. Because uh, it works for the athletes. It really does. The anti-doping. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean, all these all these athletes are on, on these mass amount of painkillers. They, they get injured. Football players, hockey players. Right. All they do is bang into each other. You know, and the yes. I mean, I can pump them with opiates or other pharmaceuticals throughout the season. They get hooked. I mean, Fred Fall 10 years ago, he didn't know how to get back to his house. He was on right. so many hikings. He was driving around aimlessly. I mean, this is one of the best quarterbacks ever was mm-hmm. driving around aimlessly in his car because he was so high on opiates from his own team. So, mm-hmm. yeah. yeah. Very good point. Yeah. Well, hey. It's the best. It does. Yep. And, and I am really glad that we had this discussion today. Yes. And, um, well, so am I. I listen, well, everyone, thank you for having us. We, thank you so much for having us. And <laughs> just let your viewers know, flowerpower.coffee. Please oh, check us out, you. look at our products, and just, you know, there's, there's education on the website also. There are links awesome. for you to um, educate yourself and, and know what's going on and, and see what's happening on a daily basis throughout the world. So, exactly. coffee. you know, information's there. That also, you can get coffee if you'd like <laughs> from the website. Yeah, you know, <laughs> edibles, we've got our products. <laughs> but, you know, we have links to, to bring us to And, you know, that's the start to anything, you know, for anyone to succeed or to, to fail, you need to be educated. So That's right. Exactly. That's know, right. Pe- people will, will educate themselves and, and, and start having a, having a say and realize what's going on. And, and that's... All and, right. And that's what we definitely need to do. We need to realize yep. and spread the word. And you guys you guys are doing it, you know, right now. You guys are mm-hmm. on the pulse. Thank you so much. Thank you. I mean, Thank you. Again, you. We Thank appreciate you. it. Good. It, this is needed. You're an outlet that people need to listen to. And if, you know, if you can get, you know, information out there to the public that they didn't know about, and then they know something now, that's just amazing. Yeah. So, really, thank you. Thank you so much. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Is there any um, shout-outs you guys would like to give to anybody before um, we go? Um, yeah, yeah. Uh, partners, yeah. late no, Beth Nolan's, um we mentioned Terry. Uh, we'd like to give a big shout out to our uh, our executive chef uh, Michelle, and um, I, I mean everyone on the flower. Everyone, I mean, everyone on the you flower know, knowledge. Everyone on the flower Fest team, um, all the veterans out there. Um, really, just you know, everyone. You know, the veterans. Thank you for doing what you do. We're very appreciative. I know that society in general, you know, forgets about you, but we don't. So. Exactly. That's right. That's right. Okay. And before and before we go to the um our radio break, I got one question for you guys. Because I always Uh-oh. ask we always ask <laughs> right before we get ready to go to the radio, what are you guys' favorite strand? Oh. Oh, I uh I'm I'm C B D only. Um I I can't consume, yeah, we, yeah, I can't consume cannabis myself. You don't have any so CBD really have flower strain. that I you guys like? Web, I guess would be my favorite strain, just for the fact of the high cannab- uh, CBD in it. Um, but, yeah, besides that, I, I don't really have a favorite strain. Well, what's the name of it? Is there a name to it? Okay, is there a name? To that, yeah, that's called Charlotte's Web. It's the high Charlotte's concentration Web. of awesome. CBD to THC. Okay, see, that's good, because see, people that are listening, Google see, now they'll know. And, yes, Charlotte's <laughs> Rev has an awesome no, no, story. You know, it's Thank great, you. you know, it's great for people with seizures, um, muscle aches, um, muscle disorders. Um, you know, it, it, it's, just, it's, a, it's a great product. It's, uh, it's a great stream. It's a whole story. <laughs> if, if that's right. what you're looking for. Less of the high, more of the, of the body. Okay. Right. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Glad to know it. And just, just in case you guys want to go back, and listen to the interview, 
Um, it'll be on um, Famous Hip Hop Radio on YouTube. Mm-hmm. So we All right. so we do the live stream, and you could go back and check out the older the older shows that we had, and you know, like if you see somebody's information or contact information you want to get, go ahead and get it and, and reach out to them. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's what the platform is for. Well, really, thank you right. so much for having us. Really, we really, really right. appreciate it. Okay, all right. Well, take thank care. you guys. You guys take care thank too. You guys. And um, I'll definitely be in touch with you guys off the air. <laughs> all right. Perfect. Have a wonderful evening. Thank you. Okay, guys. thanks. You guys too. Bye bye. Okay, bye bye. Okay, bye bye. Now we're going to get back to the music, y'all, on Famous Hip Hop Radio. And this is Perception Queen on the 420 show. Um, one is in New York and so one is in Tennessee. Also, they were doing a, this was a group thing. Like that's what, what it is. It, to do. Yeah, because see, different distances. Because the guy, he was a doctor, uh-huh. so he took time Good. out. So and and she's traveling. Oh, awesome. And she pulled over. You know what I mean? Because I told him the time frame. You know what I mean? Yeah. And then I had phone difficulties. Right. I swear these phones. I know, dude. I know. I don't like them phones. Two minutes. Mm-hmm. You know, these new I phones. Have to catch it. That sounded really awesome. The little bit I caught. It's okay, because if you go back on YouTube and look at it, and definitely reach out to them, <laughs> yeah. you know, because they got coffee, they got tea, they got edibles, all this kind of CBD products. I know. I know. I can't even begin to make a decision. Hey, you know what? So, I could dig it. I'll treat myself every now and then, but, you know. Mm-hmm. There's so much. There's this even too, like I can't even finish this. Apricot. Apricot jam. Let me see. He's got a he's got a screwdriver to fix this. Yeah, like a little sunglasses screwdriver. Yeah. How much time we got, fam? Two songs, one song. Two song, one song. Okay, I'm calling this guy now. I'll just do two songs. Cause we still got shit, twenty minutes. Yeah. Yeah, he needs to answer the phone though. (laughs) 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 Because you know. So Spider is putting this directly. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt. It's okay. I thought he was going to use it for the surface of the tattoo. So here's a new breakthrough. A very first CBD breakthrough. This goes directly into the needle thing. So he's tattooing with the CBD indirectly because they've done research for CBD and open wounds. And there's only four things in here. There's only hemp oil, CBD, and calendula. That's all. Every other ingredient on the market has 15 more products. So they just had a movement, or mm-hmm. there is a movement happening in the tattoo industry and open wounds and CBD. So he's going to document it. So it's not like injecting. Making in history. I know. That's why I didn't miss making the interview. Making history. Because we were in there making history. Yes. And here it is. Look. Mm-hmm. So it's that's going to be a first. Oh. That's going to be a very first. <laughs> in, the, in the industry. You were talking about that earlier. It's so great. It's like we're making history. We are. I was going to go to um, Sabres today and look for Same green boy, jacket. I wanted to get a green, green jacket. Frank with the chalk. Yeah. So here's this and you can uh, adjust it. You need a magic marker. And this guy. I told him. Bless you. Bless you. Thank you. Um, the time frame. So I hear California is handing out licenses like lollipops. They are. They have three different um, um, locations. Huh? Yeah. Now. Medical and well, agriculture of uh, whatever that Department of Agriculture, the uh, Department of Health, and one other one, Food Administration, are all giving out licenses right now. 
That's wow. crazy. And the least amount is coming out from the Department of Health. So these guys are just going around to the other places and not even going to DOH to go and do it anymore. <laughs> That's pretty cool. I'm going to restart the damn phone. Sometimes that works yeah. when you reboot it. Yeah, because this phone right here, boy, I tell you. Did you reset it? I'm, re I'm restarting it right now. Not yet, Not yet. But it was about to though. I can't. I got my monitor on. <laughs> I can't ride around like that. Yeah. But this is the thing. It's going to find out. It's going to find out. Because, we'll, cause, you know, I'm professional at letting the streets know. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See how the streets like it. That's what we used to do to people's uh, CDs and shit. You know what I mean? That was garbage. That was garbage. You'd be like, oh, shit, let's see what the streets think. That's Perception queen and Okay, see, so now I kind of understand it now because, see, I don't have that Google Voice on here no more. Oh my goodness, your home skillet. I'm gonna call her and tell her she need to knock this off. <laughs> she need to knock it off. Yeah. Out in the desert. Like Man, where they do that at? She gets stranded. Hey, stranded. My boy posted a thing that was so wild. It was funny. Okay, we got somebody else that's gonna be calling. In a second. Um, um, he said a girl sent him a picture of her snatch, and now his whole phone stank. I need a Bluetooth. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> Man, yeah. Really? Wow. That's rough. Yeah, it's really rough. You know? Where do they do that at? I mean, you know. Whoa! <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know, I'm still learning where people do stuff. I'm like, man. Yeah, it's, it's wild. It's wild. I'm like, people, people really do that? Hello there, sir. Hello there. I have uh, Chef Michelle on the other line. Do you want me to merge the call? Um, yes, go ahead and merge it because I got you on speaker already. I, I, I got this one. The last one? Ooh wee. Okay, yeah. I Okay, um, okay, hold on for a second because we're getting ready to go because right now we got the music playing. So, yeah, I, I, I'm, I'm trying to get it on in the background. 
Oh, okay, you lost it? Oh, okay, all right, I'll give you a second. He's trying to tune in so he can make sure he sounds right. Oh, okay, you got to turn your radio down some. Or, or, or the background or the echo, if you turn it down some. Huh? It's um, the same but different I'm people. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Oh. 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 oh, 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 oh. No. 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 We're getting ready to go on right now. Okay. Hold on. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Thanks for tuning back into the 420 Radio Show on Famous Hip Hop Radio. And um, this is part two. So you guys go ahead and introduce yourself so we can go ahead and continue. Okay. Um, my name is Leighton Knowles. I'm president and uh, the founder of Far Far Coffee Company, one of them. You did hear uh, our doctor pharmacology on earlier, and we also have... My name is Michelle. I am the fusion specialist and the chef for Flower Power. Um, thanks for having us on. Very excited. Hey, thank you guys as well. So, um, so why don't you guys go ahead and let us know what you guys are doing and, and um, what else you guys have going on. Okay, so um, I'll start very briefly to follow on from uh, what Dr. Lee Vent was saying and from what Catherine was saying. Um, we are a CBD infusion company. We specialize in coffees, caramels, jams, jellies, lollipops. So with education being at the forefront, um, we believe that instead of waking up and pushing pharmaceuticals down your throat and other types of medication, which opioids was mentioned briefly, you know, yeah, uh, we believe that we should infuse something, something that everyone drinks every day. And most people wake up as we discussed and have coffee. What other way to infuse than that with coffee? But Michelle also has some other news of other products we're working on. Yes, I do. Um, who doesn't love candy or gummy, right? Yeah. So we're going to make little powerful gummies in our mouth. But instead of doing fruit flavors, which, you know, there's so many fruit flavored products out there on the market, what do we do that? It would be coffee. So we're making coffee flavored gummies infused with CBD for all you coffee lovers out there. They're going to be debuting at the um, Nikan show in Boston. Um, we're there at the 23rd through the 25th of this month. Coffee gummies. Okay. That's interesting. Yeah. Yeah, that's going to be big. Never heard of anything like yeah. that. Yeah. Uh, we will happily send you guys some samples down so you can try them. Maybe do yes. an unboxing um, for your live Instagram viewers. Um, I love the setup you guys have there. I was watching as Craig was calling in with, uh, Craig and Catherine was calling in. I like the setup you guys have. It's, uh, it's pretty good. And like what was mentioned before, having platforms like this to educate people. Um, because at the end of the day, Everyone can look at forms of information for education. Now, one thing we do is we put everything that people need to know about CBD on our website. Um, we also, like yourselves, believe that platforms need to be made. Um, and, you know, as with anyone and activism and education, it means that everyone needs to stand up. And as you guys discussed earlier, you know, the more people that know about this, the more people that are educated, the more things can change and the more people can be helped. And that, that's the main reason behind our company is education, but also showing you that there are other forms of, of, um, of plant medicine out there, and well, not just medicine, but other forms of um, you know, things that we can take for our body. Um, and that CBD is just one of them, but it, it's one of the ones that helps myself personally because I suffer from severe anxiety. Um, and I'm guessing there's a lot of other people out there that have other issues that they, they smoke for or they medicate for. Um, and this can just help with some of them. And that's a beautiful thing. Because I need help. <laughs> we all need help. But, you know, we, we can only help so many people, but you know, we can do what we can, right? Yeah. Um, one, one thing I would like to mention is Michelle's story, um, which is one of the, Myself and Michelle met through a chef network that, we, uh, that was uh, through social media. But her story alone and why she's doing what she's doing in the industry is something I think, you know, people should hear. Um, so I'm just going to sit back for a minute and stay quiet. 
okay, it's time to spill my guts for the world, so here we go. <laughs> um, but I have nothing to hide, and I'm not ashamed. Um, I'm 48. Um, chefing is a very hard business. I've been doing this for about 30 years now, and I'm very hard on your body. In this industry, I don't know if you've ever been in the industry, in the food service industry, but um, so many addictions, so many um, injuries, so many um, pretty just generally disruptive behaviors seem to all coalesce into the kitchen environment. Um, we lose people every day to drug overdoses, to um, alcoholism-related accidents. I, I can't even explain to you how many of my chef friends battle alcoholism every single day. It's there, it's readily available, um, so it's easy. Um, I was just banging out this life, and I was happy to say I had none of those issues, and um, I got very ill um, with mono about three years ago, and um, it's damaged my nerve system, and I now have what's considered an autoimmune disease. But for a long time there, I was taking eight extra strength of Norco every day just to go do my job. So it was eight opiates a day oh my just to be able to go be a chef and um, destroying my liver and pretty much ruining my life and it got to a really dark place. And I decided it was time to let it all go and I started using CBD. I weaned off all my medications and I am really proud to say that um, after years of being on up to 10 pharmaceuticals, I am completely natural. I use CBD and I use some supplements and it has changed my life completely. Um, I have a full life, I feel good, I'm healthy. Um, I, I treat myself, I'm not enslaved to a pain management clinic. Uh, and I make the rules, and it's been amazing and liberating and how much it's changed my life, and I just want to go out and help my chef brothers and sisters to let them know that there's something else out there. You don't have to get Percocet. You don't have to be um, getting fentanyl from somebody. Please don't do heroin. Um, I just want to save them because they don't know. People aren't educated. So I'm out there to represent for my people. That's right. And that's me. And we appreciate that. Because <laughs> I'm your people, too. You're my people. You're my tribe. I got my tribe. So, um, that's right. If you love food, you're my people. Okay, yeah, I definitely love food. <laughs> I love food. Who doesn't love food, really? Exactly. So, um, and that's what the one thing that we're trying to do. You know, like, the chef, I'm a chef. And, and like you said, who doesn't love food? Who doesn't love coffee? Well, we're going to be introducing people in ways to, to incorporate CBD into their food. Like I made CBD infused carnitas the other day and made tacos, you know? So we're going to be like helping people, not necessarily professional chefs, but people that do like to cook at home Money and, and help that them idea. get CBD <laughs> in their lives where it's not just a cup of coffee, although the coffee is great. Start your day that way. Everybody should. Um, but at night time, you know, um, how about for dinner? How about for dessert? Miss Yaya was talking about a CBD turkey she made, or chicken, CBD chicken breast she made. Too, so. Well, I couldn't hear what you said, sir, because they're talking in here, kind of. I'm a chef. I shut up. I heard chicken breast, and I'm uh-huh. I didn't hear Well, what I was saying is, um, the thing, the thing with it is, everyone has coffee, and you know, you've got your Jamaican, you've got your Dino, you've got your signature, you've got like your Costa Ricans, but we have like, we have an espresso CBD, we have uh -huh. a book, our signature, it's um, kind of like um, in America, you have your Reese's peanut butter, imagine yeah. that, but it's got toasted oat, cinnamon flavors in there, a lot of dark, nuts, uh, dark rich chocolate. Uh, we do a raspberry mocha cream, so imagine a raspberry bonbon just in your mouth, and then you've got those hints of coffee. Uh, we do sea salted caramel mochas. Um, you know, it's it's not just coffee. It's artisanal coffee done correctly, no additives. Uh, we don't use anything to open up the beans. So this is as good and good for your body as you can get. You know, it's not like we're taking something. I'm putting something that's supposed to be good for you and a lot of uh, part of my friends, but crap. We're actually putting something that is good for you because we're chefs. We know what we do. We know about nutritional aspects and we put all this into something that benefits your body. So that's our story. Wow. That's us. 
There we go. Hey, no there problem. <laughs> hey, um, and, and where are you guys located? I just want to know in case I want to pull up. Um, I'm actually phoning in from Queens, so that's where Dr. Levan is uh, over in Staten Island. We're a company that our headquarters is in Ohio. That's where Michelle resides um, in a beautiful ranch, which we'll send you links if you guys want to share anything on Instagram. Follow okay. us on Instagram, Flower Power Coffee Co. Facebook is Flower Power Coffee Co. Just quick plug, you know. Yeah. Um, but the, the thing is, is uh, we're, we're located in Ohio and New York. We travel around and educate. If you have a store that you think, hey, you know what, I want to do CBD, info at flowerpower.coffee. People can reach us through yourselves because we can discuss how you can also help your listeners by, you know, with CBD information and products. Um, and other than that, you can find us on the web or you can call us, email us, text us. We're available to educate and help as many people as possible. Wow, thanks. We appreciate that. Is there, Thank um, you for having us on again. And, um, hey, no problem. And you guys have me. Blowing, blowing up the phone with the Instagram post, I love it. It's a whole key yeah. thing. That, that's mm-hmm. the thing that needs to be met is as things move forward and the government starts cramping down the way they are, um, I was actually at the uh, court case a couple of weeks back. We've done with Alexis, with uh, Marvin Washington and um, Alexis uh, Botelli, who uh, can't travel her THD and we was actually in front of the judge, um, the judge a couple of weeks back and we was in there listening and the things that people need to know is in order to and I've said this before and the reason I'm saying this is it's it embedded into me is in order to make a change you have to stand up and speak in a very professional manner not a case of hey I want to go out and cause trouble it's a case of I have a voice and I need to think of a professional way to be heard some way that I can be seen as an individual who has a voice, who has some meaning, and not something where the government's looking and going, oh, it's just some stuff, it's just some stone. You know, if we can do this in a peaceful way to show people, we're here, we medicate, we're not going to change because it's who we are, then stand up and talk about it, right? That's right. It's agreed. We have the right to heal ourselves. We really do. And the way we choose to heal ourselves is with cannabis and is with hemp. And I don't think anybody should have the right to tell us that we have to fill our bodies with chemicals and things that, I mean, look at some of the medicines that give people the side effects are worse than that condition that they're treating. You sure is right about that. (laughs) Or even death. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, um, I've lived it. I lived it every day, so Mm -hmm. I understand it. And um, I want to give a shout out right now to my beautiful daughter. There's a really awful condition out there called endometriosis. Millions of women are suffering from it. uh, This month is National Endometriosis Awareness Month. And um, what I do, I do for girls like her and um, women like her in the hopes that we can help them as much as possible and give them a voice. So that's for my baby girl. She's serving over in Kuwait right now. Megan Camille, your mama loves you. That's right. There we go. Okay, cool. Uh All righty. Well, hey, well, thanks for um, coming out. And um, I have one question that I need to ask you guys. What's your favorite, what's you guys' favorite strand? So I'm definitely going to answer this because mine is, um, it's almost full CBD dominant. Um, It's called a Stephen Hawking strand. I think a lot of your listeners may find it interesting. It helps me because I have severe anxiety. It helps me feel relaxed. Um, euphoric measures, you're looking at it between the 60 to 70 percent. You're looking at between 50 percent feeling of uplifting, and it helps with the focus by probably about 70 to 75. It's, so it's called a Stephen Hawking. It is mainly CBD dominant because, as a CBD uh, you know owner, you know the one thing I do make sure is until things are legal, we make sure that we do everything so the government doesn't come looking at everyone. You know what I mean? That's right. So yeah. But again, thank you for having us on. Um, okay, thank you guys as well. And um, you guys have a nice one. And um, definitely keep listening. And um, we'll probably end up doing a follow up in a couple of months or so. That sounds Excellent. good. Excellent. Wonderful. Okay. Thank you very much, guys. Okay, thank you. You guys have a good one. Bye-bye. Go there. Peace, love, and light. That's right. <laughs> Sound like a little angel coming through. Peace, love, and light. That was great. <laughs> Uh-huh. Yeah, I can see all of them wanted to get on the phone at the same time. 
Now, this was different than the first group. No, the first group, the first the group. The doctor and the other lady. You know, the, the, other, the other lady, and I then. I'm not sure if y'all were talking about it. You and then. Off, right? yeah, okay. yeah, yeah, I wasn't sure either. Um, and then these two. And then these two are the chefs. Yeah. 